Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do another new release Tuesday video and today I am talking about books that come out on Tuesday, February 20th. So the first book I'm going to highlight is What Are We Doing Here by Marilyn Robinson. This is a brand new essay collection from Marilyn Robinson that I know a lot of people are very excited by because you know, it's Marilyn Robinson. <laughs> In this new essay collection, Marilyn Robinson focuses on the modern political climate as well as the mysteries of faith. Whether she's investigating how the work of great thinkers influences our modern political climate or discussing the ways that beauty informs and disciplines the daily life, Robinson's peerless prose and boundless humanity are on display. So if you are a Marilyn Robinson fan, and I am sure there are plenty of you out there who are, then you should definitely pick up What Are We Doing Here? Next up, I have our sponsor for this video and that is Rosy Colored Glasses by Brianna Wilson. Rosy Collins makes everything dazzle. Rex Thorpe is serious and unsentimental. Yet when the two meet, Rex is swept up in Rosie's manic kind of love. But just as opposites attract, they can also cause friction. When things fall apart, their daughter Willow must navigate two different worlds. She's clearly under the spell of her exciting, fun-loving mother. But as Rosie's behavior becomes more turbulent, the darker underpinnings of manic love are revealed. This book touches on themes such as mother-daughter relationships, mental illness, divorce, family, and a place to belong. So again, that's Rosie Colored Glasses, and thanks so much for sponsoring this video. Next up, I have Sunburn by Laura Lipman. This is a book of psychological suspense about a pair of lovers with the best intentions and the worst luck. Two people locked in a passionate yet uncompromising game of cat and mouse. But instead of rules, this game has dark secrets, forbidden desires, inevitable betrayals, and cold-blooded murder. So in this story, you are following these characters named Polly and Adam. They both say that they're passing through this small town in Delaware, but they both end up staying. Over the course of a punishing summer, Polly and Adam abandon themselves to this steamy affair. But they are both holding back secrets from each other, dangerous and possibly even lethal secrets. Then someone dies. Was this an accident or part of a plan? At this point, Adam and Polly are so ensnared in each other's lives and lies that neither one knows how to get, a get away nor if they want to. And again, that one is called Sunburn by Laura Lippman. Next up, I have Educated by Tara Westover or Tara Westover. Not sure which way she pronounced her name. This is a memoir. Tara Westover was born in Idaho to survivalist parents. She spent her days preparing for the end of the world by like stockpiling food and sleeping with her quote head for the hills bag. In the summer she stewed herbs for her mother who was a midwife and a healer and in the winter she salvaged metal in her father's junkyard. Her father distrusted medical establishments so any sort of gashes or minor injuries or burns were all dealt with at home with herbalism. And this family was so isolated that there was no one there to even make sure that these kids went to school. When one of her brothers ends up actually getting into university and basically comes back with news of the outside world, Tara decides that she wants to have a different kind of life. She taught herself enough math, grammar, and science in order to take the ACT and was eventually admitted to Brigham Young University. And her quest for knowledge transformed her, taking her to Harvard and Gr Cambridge University. Only then would she wonder if she traveled too far from home and if there is a way back. So this sounds super fascinating and just a really interesting memoir about a person's sort of eye-opening experience in this world. And again, that's called Educated by Tara Westover. Next up, I have a short story collection, and that is called All the Names They Used for God by Anjali Sachdeva. Spanning centuries, continents, and a diverse group of characters, these stories are united by each character's struggle with fate. In a secret subterranean world beneath the prairie of the Old West, a homesteader risks her life in search of a safe haven. A workman in Andrew Carnegie steel mills is turned into a medical oddity by the brutal power of the furnaces and is eventually revitalized from his condition. A young woman created through genetic manipulation is destroyed by the same force that gave her life. In these stories, the author 
looks at our fears, our hopes, and our longings in order to point out intrinsic truths about our society. So if you are a fan of short stories, then this definitely sounds like one worth picking up. And again, that's called All the Names They Use for God. Next up, I have R is for Rebel by J. Anderson Coates. This is a middle grade novel that follows a young girl who won't let anything tame her spirits. Not the government that conquered her people, nor reform school. Mally has led the constables on a merry chase through her once peaceful country. With her parents in prison for their part in the failed resistance movement, the government wants to send her to a national school, but they'll have to capture her first. And capture her they do, so Mally is sent off to this reform school, but Mally will not go down without a fight. She's determined to rally her fellow students to form a rebellion all their own. And again, that's called R is for Rebel by J. Anderson Coates. And the final book that I have is Ambiguity Machines and Other Stories by Vandana Singh. This is another collection of short stories, but these are science fiction fantasy short stories. In her first North American collection, Singh's deep humanism interplays with her science background. These are stories that explore and celebrate this world and others, and characters who are trying to make sense of the people that they meet what they see and the challenges that they face. Singh's stories have been performed on BBC Radio. She's been up for a number of British awards and so like I said earlier this is her first collection coming to North America and again that's called Ambiguity Machines and Other Stories. So those are all of the books I am going to talk about in this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you are planning on picking up any of these books or if there's another book out today that you are very excited about. Otherwise I will see you guys again next Tuesday with another new release video. Bye.